Hello everyone, welcome to Concept. My name is Dharmendra. Today I am going to talk about how to use the option interest chain. Okay, I'm sorry, open interest. Okay, not option chain. Okay, open interest and how to draw the trade from that particular data. Okay, I will also use some indicators. I will also use some price action technique. Okay, and then I will show you how I can take the trade according to these tools and these indicators. All right. So. Let's just say if I'm going for the open interest, okay. So let me show you how open interest works, okay. So this is open interest, all right. So you can see at open interest, okay, on the above side, you can see there are call writers. And this is a spot, let's just say this is a spot and here put writers, put writers, okay. But you will, you can find call and put writers at every, uh, every levels, okay. Whether it is OTM, ITR or ATM, okay. Now we all know that we see open interest at the writer point of view, at the writer's point of view, okay. Why it is considered as a writer's point of view? Because they write the call option over here and they write the put option over here, okay. If they are writing the call option over here means they have a perception about the market, about a particular stock that it will not move beyond this particular level, okay. It will not breach, the, uh, breach this particular level, alright. Similarly, when they write the put option, okay, they are into general perception that this particular stock might not breach this particular level. That is why uh, they make their position in put writing, okay. So these call writing and put writing levels, okay, at whatever levels they have made their position, it will consider as a strong resistance and support, okay. It will consider as a resistance support, but at which level I should take a look. Okay, because at most of the level you can see there are green bar, there are red bars, okay, and according to that you will see the writer's position, okay. But at a particular level where the writers are more as compared to uh, opposite writers, okay, let's just say here the call writers are more, okay, at a particular level and at a particular level the put writers are more. So here uh, the particular level will be considered as a resistance and this will we as a support all right so you can see most of the time okay you can see most of the time the price will respect this level and it bounces back okay and also when price breach this level it gives you further returns okay but does it happen happens every time no so that is why we need to look at certain data okay we should have some different perspective then only according to that we can take the trade okay because here you can see there will be addition, okay, means built up, okay, there will be unwinding, there will be unwinding, okay. Built up means the writers will keep adding position over here, they keep adding position over here. That means if they have a strong feeling, if they are uh, if they support their strategy, like means according to their strategy, they are quite confident about uh, this particular moment. That means this particular stock might not go beyond this level. So what they do, they keep adding, they keep adding uh, uh, their position at this particular level. That means they keep writing the call options. All right. So what happens? What happens? There is a built up. That means the call write, call writers they keep on increasing. Okay, and this particular st particular level becomes very strong okay so there are higher possibility that the particular stock will touch and bounces back there is a higher possibility and also when it breaches this level okay when it breaches the level okay then we should uh, look at the writer's point of view because when the writers think that this particular stock might go beyond this particular level so what they do they begin unwinding their position, okay. They begin unwinding their position. That means they, they have generated a fear, 
they have generated a fear that this particular stock might go up so they keep keep on booking losses or they just wind up their position they just uh, exit from their particular position whatever profit and loss they are making okay so you can see there will be like blank space okay there will be like blank space okay so same thing happens at the put writers also okay so let me show you open interest data okay so i'll go to track i'll select open interest okay so this is sipla all right so you can see at the atm level you can see this is a uh, this is the current price 1587 okay now you can see at the 1600 level there are highest number of call option writers you can see 1423000 call option writers have made their position out of which out of which under the bracket if it is positive number that means 325650 it means this number of position has been added it means this particular uh, this particular call writers position is becoming strong and this resistance is also becoming strong okay so there is a higher possibility that this might come down from this particular level and you can see it is going down from 1587 right now it is 1585 okay you can see on the chart also i'll show you on the chart also how it has respected that particular level okay now i i need to look at the uh, next strong level that means support level okay so here i can see my greater support is here okay 1540 then over here okay at 1500 level it is huge okay but you can see it is almost 80 points down okay almost 80 points down so that means it is near to 6% all right 6% down so what what can i do i'll just look for the nearest support or nearest resistance so here the nearest resistance 60 uh, 1600 and then the nearest strong support is 1550 okay so there are higher chances that it must might bounce back from the 1550 now i need to take a look at price action i need to take a look at indicator which is known as rsi okay and according to that how i can take the trade okay now you can see the 1600 level is the resistance okay now we should go to the chart okay so i'll click on analyze i'll go to chart order and trade okay chart oriented okay before that i i want to uh, show you that in the open interest in the open interest okay let me show you open interest again in the open interest okay just take a look at this figure okay that means if there are more green bars there are more green bars are as compared to the red ones okay so the market or the particular stock is likely to come down because the put writers are heavy that means their volume is increasing okay similarly when the put writers are more that means there are more red bars as compared to green one okay so the stock is uh, mostly you know it can be uptrend mostly it will be uptrend okay so that is a consideration it is not like that if the there are more red red bar that means you should buy that stock no wait for the strategy go for the price action technique and go for the data changes which i have shown you okay you can see there are blank spaces okay <clears throat> at blank spaces that means unwinding is happening you can see here at 1580 call writers you can see 4 lakh 27000 okay you can see there are uh, under the bracket minus 87000 is written that means Ma eighty seven thousand position has been unwinded. That means they have exited from their particular position. Okay, so this these these are the things which you need to take into consideration. Okay, so whenever there is a breakout, whenever there is a breakout, you can see this is the dark green. Okay, there should be unwinding seen over here. If there is no unwinding, you should not take the trade on that particular breakout. You should not take on uh, take a trade on that particular breakout. Also, you need to check in the RSI whether it has reached to the overbought zone or not. If at if if it has reached to the overbought zone, wait for it. Okay, it might go beyond uh, beyond your imagination. Okay, it might go beyond like sixteen or seventeen hundred. Okay, but that doesn't happen every time. Okay, let me show you on the chart. All right, so I'll go to analyze. I'll select chart order and trade. 
okay so you can see you can see the price is going down you can see it over here all right it has respected the 1600 level okay so that means the 1600 level is a strong resistance okay is a strong resistance so you can see if i'm marking the 1600 level over here okay very simple strategy it is not like uh, rocket science okay it is very simple strategy you can see over here there was a breakout you can see there was a breakout yesterday at this particular level but the market was on the downside so you can see uh, when the market is on the downside that means there is a short built up i don't go against the market okay the nifty was going down so here you can see at this particular level okay 1950, uh, 957 okay you can see there was a breakout shall i take the trade on the directly on the breakout not at all okay as i have shown you in the open interest i should look what what is happening with the call writers if they are unwinding their position i can go ahead with the trade okay if they are unwinding with their position i can go the, go ahead with the trade but also i will look at the rsi overbought and oversold zone overbought and oversold zone okay if it is going down all right i need to take a look at that uh, at the at the indicator whether it has entered into the overbought zone or not you can see it has entered into the overbought zone i will wait for the uh, price action technique okay i will wait for the price action technique so here i will not enter into the trade all right you can see the pattern is different all right it has made the made the high over there and it came down again just 10 points and then then it came down all right now you can see the price action technique as i have told you it will respect that particular level and it will come down you can see it has respected not once but twice you can see over here it came down then again it came down then again it came down so if i am taking the trade over here okay very simple that is a risk you have you have to take okay you can see over here and the rsi is also in the middle band okay not at the overbought or oversold okay so the 1597 was the price 1597 82 and the high high of that particular candle is 1692 okay so you can see there is nearly like 4 rupees stop loss 1600 script 1600 uh, price script okay that means we need to keep the stop loss is 0.5 percent or 1 percent okay but here the stop loss is only 4 rupees okay and you can see on the same day right from the 1597 it came down to 1587 so 4 rupees stop loss 10 rupees profit that means 1 is to 2.5 ratio and in every video i always say always go with 1 is to 2 ratio minimum you should go with 1 is to 1.5 ratio so here i got the trade from here till here okay this is the simplest way to use the open interest data to take the trade okay now you can see over here i'll take the trade keep my stop loss over here and you can see how beautifully i got the trade okay all right you can see my stop loss is 2.76 not even 4 rupees you can see 2.76 all right because this was the highest i need to keep a buffer so let let make it 3 i'm sorry there is an issue let's keep it 3 okay because i always keep the buffer sometimes it just spike up or spike down and hit my stop loss so uh, that is experience i have gained so i keep a buffer okay so three rupees stop loss okay three rupees stop loss and you can see i got like here on the lowest point okay 10 rupees all right so this is the profit i got okay so risk reward is one is to three not one is to 2.5 I, I calculated uh, in a wrong way okay so here you can see the stop loss is uh, and the stop loss is 3 rupees my reward is 10 so 1 is to 3 okay so this is how you are going to take the trade using the open interest technique okay using the price action technique always 
okay using the price is sitting and according to that you can take the trade okay so this is how you are going to mark the support and resistance all right go for few stocks okay mark the levels all right mark the levels okay sometimes you need two screens sometimes you need one screen in one screen you can open uh, like multiple tabs and according to that you can mark the levels and take the trade according to that okay so i have shown you two three things all right i have explained you about open interest working so what i have shown you in open interest i have shown you about working observation what you have observed all right observation then i have shown you according to that how to take the execution all right so op open interest plus price action okay plus sometimes plus i have seen also rsi and after that execution okay so this is how you are going to take the trade by using the open interest by considering the price action technique okay because you have to observe you have to observe whether how it is working okay how the call writers are adding up their position how call writers are winding up their position because that is the most important thing because we cannot just go simply and watch the open interest and see okay at this particular level highest number of call writers are there at this particular level highest number of put option right there we cannot go simply with that we need to take a look whether the writers are adding or subtracting the level and also according to price action technique whether it is respecting that level or not okay even you can see even if someone has taken a trade blindly okay so i can say uh, like it has moved to 8 points above okay the stop loss over here is again 2 3 rupees so here i can see if the price is like um, more than more uh, let's like say the trade is more than 1 is to 1 okay so i can move my stop loss over here or right, an according to that i can take the trade but here i can see it is cost to cost of stop loss but again it gave me the profit over here all right so i will not consider this trade okay the reason is very simple i cannot see any price action technique over here okay i can see it over here if an even if i'm taking it over here my stop loss will be lesser but according to the rsi it is in overbought zone according to the uh, open interest there was no unwinding all right so so this is how i am going to take the trades using the open interest technique and price action technique all right so if you want to know about the concept tool please call on the uh, call on the number mentioned above this is dharmendra rajbar thank you very much